Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Today we're going to be deck profiling my uh, Pacifist Heroes. They are, um, it's like a casual deck that I made for locals, and it's pretty fun to play, so I'm just going to go ahead and show that off. It's pretty neat. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but if you've seen online, there's a bunch of people with deck profiles like this. I didn't necessarily agree with their build, so I'm going to show mine off right now. So first off, we're going to be uh, running three copies of Elemental Hero Sparkman. This guy is kind of the main thing in the deck, it, well, other than Pacifist. Uh, you normal summon him, you get your searches, it's really neat. So he's a normal monster, 1600 attack, keep that in mind. Next up we've got three copies of Elemental Hero Honesty Neos. It's searchable off of E-Call, it's uh, basically an Honest, but specifically for heroes. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool generally. Then speaking of Honest, we're running two of that. So again, just going to let you attack over everything. We, we are running Hand Traps, it's basically Hand Traps and Sparkman. That's kind of the goal of the deck. So uh, next up we are running Max C and a Ghost Ogre. Uh, if this wasn't for locals, if I was taking this to anything serious, we'd be running um, multiple ghost ogres. But uh, for locals, it's not as important. Just because, you know, there's more weird stuff that you don't necessarily need ghost ogre against. It's good against the meta, though, so keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, moving on to spells. Yes, that is all the monsters we're running. I run a lot of these decks with, like, no monsters. But anyways, uh, for spells, triple uh, Pacifist, the Phantasm City. Um, this is pretty much the card that does everything. Basically, if you, uh, summon a single normal monster, you get to search a Phantasm Spiral, either Spell Trap or Monster. You're not searching the monsters, you're not searching the spells, it's all about the traps. Um, but yeah, basically what it does is it lets you just do that. It's pretty handy. Uh, and then also, if your opponent activates a Spell Trap or Monster effect, you get to summon a token, a Phantasm Spiral token specifically, with 2,000 attack and defense, level 8. And, of course, that'll trigger the other effect to let you search. Um, and then, yeah, it basically what it does is it just lets you keep board presence while your opponent's trying to play. And it also lets you search your traps during your opponent's turn, which is super handy. Um, yeah, it just it just does everything for you. It's, it's the most important card, pretty much. Uh, speaking of, triple terraforming to search it, because you need it. Next up, uh, triple heat wave. This is going to prevent your opponent... Well, it prevents both players from uh, normal or... Uh, normal or special summoning any effect monsters that doesn't really apply to you because all you've got is spark man and hand traps but uh it applies to your opponent it basically just shuts them down for a turn they can set a card and hope it lives um so yeah it's really handy next up uh three e-call that'll just search either your spark man or your honesty neos so uh it it does let you get to both which is pretty relevant and then uh double painful decision we're not running rota but we are running painful De uh, decision That'll let you search your Sparkman, and it also dumps the Sparkman into the graveyard, which we'll get to later. Um, I'll, I'll explain why that's important. But yeah, Painful Decision at 2. Uh, 3, it clogs a bit, so I, I cut it down to 2, and I'm very happy with it at 2. Especially alongside the 3 e-call. You're definitely going to be hitting your Sparkman like, frequently enough, so yeah, it's good. Uh, of course, 1 Raigeki, because it's staple. And an Upstart, just to let you hit your Phantasm City more frequently. And then three copies of Duality, again, to hit your Phantasm City more frequently. So that's going to be it for spells. There's a lot. It's pretty much my ammo. I, I run a lot of these decks with, like, no monsters and a lot of spells. As for traps, we are running uh, three Phantasm Spiral Battle. That's, uh, if you have a normal monster on the field, pop a card your opponent controls. Either set or face up, doesn't matter. And also, if you control Yumi and Phantasm City is treated as Yumi, uh, you can activate it straight from hand, which is super cool. And then one copy of Phantasm Spiral uh, Power. That's the one. Uh, and it's a it's basically like a breakthrough skill, except that it also um, decreases their attack by a thousand, which is pretty cool. And of course, since we're running normal monsters, we gotta have Skill Drain. Awesome card. And then we are running two copies of Storming Mirror Force and two copies of Drowning Mirror Force. Um, now the reason for this, a lot of people don't like Mirror Force cards. They say they're too kind of like slow, relying on your opponent, you know, kind of misplaying or you know not like overextending and attacking into them. Thing is, um, that's only really if you're only running like a couple of them. If you're running a lot of them, your opponent pretty much has to attack eventually, so they they do become a bit more relevant. So I like them. And uh, one of the main weaknesses of the deck is if you don't happen to hit a Sparkman and you just like you know put your Phantasm City on the field. And your opponent's just like, okay, I'm just going to normal something and poke. And they do that like four times and they just win. Um, 
Yeah, like, you really can't do anything about it unless you happen to hit something that'll search something for you. So just having these is going to be better, just to let you say, like, okay, you're going to try that, I'm going to send everything back to your deck. Or hand. You know, either or. It, it's still, it's relevant. So, uh, and then last up, two copies of Jar of Avarice. And this card, I'm actually really pleased with it, in all honesty. Um, basically, one of the things that the deck uh, tends to do, you're going to search your traps a lot. Like, and I mean, you're probably going to hit every one of these traps in a game. Like, any sort of, even like, like, you can hit all four of them in two turns. Like, that that's how, you know, like, relevant it can be. So, um, or, you know, like, two of your turns, two of your opponents. So, um, it, it, like, you can potentially just burn through all of these. This will put them straight back in the deck. Uh, it'll put anything you need right back in the deck and give you a draw. So, I've actually found myself, uh, putting, like, this is why we're running Painful Decision, actually. Um, Painful Decision is gonna dump a Sparkman in the graveyard, put itself in the graveyard. So, you're gonna have two cards in the grave right off the bat, uh, just to make this a little bit more consistent. And then, of course, you're gonna be hitting your traps. As soon as your opponent tries to play, you're gonna, you know, pop their stuff or negate their effects. So, you're basically just gonna make sure that your, uh, you know, your Jar of Avarice is live. It's really relevant, actually. It's surprisingly relevant. Uh, and I really like it. So that's the deck. Uh, you can have an extra deck. I don't have one set up at the moment, but there's no reason not to have one. I just, you know, it was like, oh, I could either pull out a bunch of rank fours that I'm never going to make. Because you literally, if you make a, a, if you special summon a monster that's not a normal monster, you literally can't use your uh, Phantasm City effects. So, like, it, it's better just to keep normal monsters in the field. Um, but yeah, I guess you could put like a Gem Knight Pearl or something in, but I wouldn't. Um, but overall, the, the deck, it's not the best thing ever, but it's really, really fun to play. Um, and if your opponent doesn't know how to play against it, you can very easily just not run out of resources and just beat them. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's fun. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little deck profile, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.